Hi, this is Tessa Keogh, and if it's Tuesday, it's time for another Tuesday's Tip. What I wanted to talk about today was joining and viewing a Hangout on Air. Now, Google loves change, and it's constantly making improvements. And this keeps most of us who have community pages or conduct Hangouts on Air on our toes. Here at the Legacy Virtual Users Group community, we have one Hangout on Air every month. We're kind of tipping the scales right now at about 300 members, and some of you might be new. Some of you have maybe only attended a few of our Hangouts, and many of you, whether in this community or other genealogy communities, always ask, how do I attend the Hangout on Air? Where do I find the link to the Hangout? Where can I join the Hangout? How do I view the Hangout? Where do I find the Hangout on YouTube or in the community? Since our monthly Hangout is in two days, that's Thursday, June 20th at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, I thought it might be helpful to walk you through the process. If you are in our Legacy Virtual Users Group community, you should have received an event invitation. But if not, our June Hangout is all about research trips and family reunions, and how to use Legacy Family Tree to make both the projects more organized, easier, and more effective. If you have any tips or suggestions to share, or you have specific questions, please post them at the community and we'll be sure to include them in the presentation. And now, let's make quick work of all those questions about hanging out in a Google Plus Legacy Virtual Users Group community Hangout on Air. A few reminders. Our Hangouts on Air are always on the third Thursday of each month, and I promise to put these Hangouts on the genealogy calendar. Our Hangouts on Air start at 1 p.m. That's if Google and all those tech gremlins are willing. If it's a few minutes after 1 p.m., it's because there were a few technical glitches. We send out an event invitation to serve as a reminder, and from now on I've scheduled this for one week before the actual Hangout on Air. Now you're given a choice of responding yes, maybe, or no. If you respond yes or maybe, Google magically puts the event in your, well actually in your computer's time zone, and it'll show up in your upcoming events. If you have notifications set, you might also receive an email notification. If you respond no, that's sufficient. No worries that you have to explain to us. We realize that people have work and personal obligations, or maybe they live in a different time zone, which means they can't attend the live Hangout. So if you respond no, you won't receive any further notifications. If you do respond yes or maybe, and you'd like to join the panel, perhaps you have suggestions or questions on the topic, please post that in your response. Now to the important things that tend to cause panic at about five minutes to one. There are two ways to view the Hangout on Air. We'll post the link when we start the Hangout. When the recording starts, it will stream live both at the community and at my YouTube channel. You can view the Hangout in either place. It's easier to post any comments or questions at the community because we'll be monitoring it there and your posts remain after the Hangout's over and we can continue the conversation. And here's where you'd post links, make suggestions, or ask questions. If you'd like to join the panel for the Hangout on Air, perhaps you have suggestions, tips, questions, maybe you want to engage on the topic being presented, or maybe you're one of the presenters that month. You'll receive an invitation to join the Hangout on Air about 10 to 15 minutes before it actually starts. This is so we can test the mics and the webcams, make introductions, and get a little organized. Please don't ask for an invitation if you can't stay for the hour, don't have a headset, or are able to block out other noise if you don't have a webcam and if you don't want to be in the recording. You can always watch the archived version at the monthly Hangouts on Air and our Tuesday's Tips at my YouTube channel. Now let's go live and see how all this theory I've just discussed works in practice. So right now we're at my Google Plus home page and you can tell that because this is highlighted, my name right here, and just a few quick pointers. This tells me that there's 20 new posts since the last time I was on the main page, and I'm at the home page. But as you can see, when I scroll over it, one of the first things you can do is go down to Communities.
But I wanted to show you first that this is where the upcoming events usually show up. Now this will depend on whether you have two or three columns open in your uh, Google Plus home page. And as you can see, I have two events that are already showing up, and it shows you the most current ones. But you can also tab over here and click on View All. And that will load, hopefully, and show me the upcoming events. And as you can see right here, the LVUG Monthly Hangout on Air is scheduled for Thursday, June 20th. Now it shows up as 1 p.m. because right now I'm in the Pacific Time Zone and it tells me who's coming and I've already mentioned that I am going and if you want to invite more people you're able to do that so perhaps you have a genealogy community or maybe there's other people you know who use legacy who might want to attend you can invite them right there and as you can also see I have Caroline Pointers uh, What's Up Genealogy, which is scheduled for Friday, June 20, 21st at 6 p.m. here. Now it shows up as 6 p.m. again because I'm in the Pacific Northwest, and it shows up at the time that she is actually conducting the Hangout, which is, I believe, 8 o'clock because she's in Texas. So as you can see, if somebody is, you know, on the East Coast or perhaps over in Europe, it will show up whenever it shows up in your specific time zone. So let's go to Communities. Now this shows community invitations that are outstanding. And now we're going to go down to the communities that I'm already in. And if we were to go to the Legacy Virtual Users Group, we just click on the community. And if you haven't joined the community, what you're going to want to do when you click on looking up this community here is just join. But this shows you our community and the suggestions I'd make is to take a look at the About section always and then right here and it will always remain in this top right hand corner and I say that knowing that Google might change it in the future but who knows uh, this seems like a good place for it the legacy virtual users group site is here and my YouTube channel is listed here so you could just come to the community on Thursday and click on my YouTube channel. You can also watch for the Hangout on Air to start right here in a post and this will be where it will show up and you can just click on and watch it there. You can also, once you've clicked on it there, click to watch it in YouTube. But this is going to be the easiest way, I think, to click on if you're watching it in YouTube. The other thing to keep in mind is following the About This Community section are the upcoming events. So you'll see right here that the monthly hangout is scheduled and it will show whether you're going or not. So we could click over to my YouTube channel. And right now, because I haven't put my trailer together yet. Uh, it doesn't show a, an introduction, but you are right here in what is my Tessa watch and we're viewing it as the public would see it. What you do is you come over to the home icon and you click on feed. And what's gonna happen is once a feed starts, this will be where it will show up and you just watch the hangout there. And you can do this whether this is at Caroline Pointer's YouTube channel or Dear Myrtle's YouTube channel. They're all very similar. Um, take a look at the individual guidelines that somebody might have for their YouTube channel, how they have it set up, but you can easily watch the um, videos there. The other thing you can do is go to the videos and you can look at them by uploads or the date they're added. Now I'm going to be working on my channel trailer and my channel art, uh, but for right now the important thing to realize when you go into a YouTube channel is that they've been reconfigured and if you just scroll down you'll be able to see I have various sections. My 20 with Tessa section is for the Guild of One Name Studies. The next one down is Legacy Virtual Users Group and I have in here all of the Hangouts on Air, the archived versions, and if you just go to this um, arrow here, you can see any of the older ones. And as you see, it just plays either way, any of those that are on there. All of the Tuesday's tips will also show up. 
and then Google on its own puts together popular uploads or recent uploads. So take a look at whatever section you want to watch and it's like viewing a channel on a television station. The other thing that I would point out to you is my favorites and these are ones that I've listed that I enjoy and that I'm subscribed to. Now I've listed those as my favorites. I'll probably be including some others but those are also listed here my subscriptions. I have no control the, over this section, the popular channels, and those are probably going to show up as, as gaming or sports or what have you, or um, probably cat videos, uh, whatever shows up a lot on YouTube. Uh, so we have a free uh, broadcast station here and a free channel, and so this is one of the things you put up with. Uh, so I would pay no attention to this section and pay specific attention to my favorites. Now one of the easy things that you can do here is subscribe to the channel and that will make it easier because it will list for you and it'll notify you whenever there's a new video that I've posted to my YouTube channel. So that's a simple matter when you go into this channel of clicking on the subscribe button. So now we're back in the Legacy Virtual Users Group community and I'd just like to point out a couple other things to you. The most recent posts will be at the top of the page and you can always scroll through to look and see what's going on. And one thing you'll notice here is this hangout and then if you click on read more it will tell you how you can tune in to watch how you can you know view or join uh, and also telling you about the archived versions so this is always something to take a look at and then by showing less it clicks it closed the other thing that I would suggest is if you are interested in a particular topic maybe it's Tuesday's tip just click on topic title just click on that topic and it will bring up everything that is uh, listed as a Tuesday's tip and that's done right here or if it were to show up as a hashtag that would be in there so you can watch any of the Tuesday's tip videos directly from the community you don't have to go to YouTube so that's another way to watch and that's also how our LVUG Hangouts show up as well as any discussion we have about Hangouts. So as you can see the May Hangout is right here and people's comments are listed there as well. So that's a pretty easy thing to do. The invitations as well as the actual Hangouts will show there. Perhaps you want to take a look at whatever's been posted about sources. That would show up here as well. So you can drill in to Ever you're interested in. And if any of you have any suggestions for additional topic titles, please let me know. Always be sure to take a look at the guidelines that any community has. It kind of gives you the, the lay of the land, so to speak. Uh, if you're new to the community, in the Getting to Know You section, introduce yourself. If we have any surveys, we'll tend to put them right here. And then we discuss particular items as well as general discussion. So hopefully this has given you a little bit of a flavor for how to get in and watch the Hangouts when they're going on live or archived, as well as how to move around in the community a little bit. Just a few reminders. If you're watching this tip, what's next? Well, if you haven't joined our LVUG community, I'd love for it if you did. I'd like it if you'd read the About section as well as the guidelines. Like I said, get a lay of the land. Then introduce yourself, post questions, comments, tips, or suggestions. The only way this community works and is active and engaged is if everyone gets involved. There's a lot of you out there who've been using Legacy for a long time or been doing genealogy for a long time, and I'm sure you have a lot of great suggestions for the rest of us. And it's also helpful if you respond to posts from community members. A lot of times people will have a question and right away I notice somebody's got a response or somebody offers to do a private hangout and they can work together to solve the problem and that's great. And then of course attend our monthly hangouts. Now I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'd like you to check out the various sections as we talked about. You might even find something in the surname studies uh, videos that might be helpful to you with your research for genealogy. I introduce a lot of uh, websites that are helpful with surname research, but a lot of those websites are just helpful 
with strictly with genealogy research. I also spend some time talking about various programs that I use with my one name study. I use a lot of Excel spreadsheets and we have some tips on how to use those and I'm going to be talking more about OneNote which is a program I use as well as Scrivener. Then I'd love it if you'd comment on the videos. If you have questions or you have another suggestion that would help, be sure to comment at the end of the video. And check out my favorites. As I mentioned, I like to give a shout out to the people whose videos I learn a lot from and I mention some of those to you. And finally, suggest topics for the Tuesday's Tip or the Legacy Virtual Users Group monthly hangouts. And if you'd like to be a presenter or a co-presenter, we'd love to have you join us. So if you've got a tip or if you'd like to present a tip, please be sure to contact me right in the community. And finally, check out all of our Tuesday's Tips at the Legacy Virtual Users Group community on Google Plus or at my YouTube channel. So we hope to see you this Thursday, June 20th, for our Hangout on Air, and every third Thursday of each month. See you then.